So 75 miles to go, guys. 75? 75. Woo wow. Our last night at sea. <laughs> it's good to be alive, eh? It's very good to be alive. Do you see, you see my little lump? Aww. Just a little guy. Yeah. You feeling all right? Yeah, just a headache. Yeah. Laying down felt better, but kind of felt dizzy as well. Was it worth it? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. It was really, really rolly last night. Um, the wind kind of switched more from behind. And yeah, I wasn't really sleeping very good. And I think Sierra screamed pretty much every hour the whole night. So feeling pretty out of it today, but we're like 100 and something nautical miles away so i think we'll definitely be there tomorrow morning or maybe even tonight after sunset we'll have to see so we still have like 15 knots of wind which is awesome because we thought it was gonna just like die down when we got close to panama but it seems to be still quite a lot of wind which is great because the swell is really big still so i think if it die down completely <laughs> we would just be like motoring out in this massive swell which wouldn't be very nice at all comparing the, bruises comparing bruises with no. so i bruise very easily and i've i'm not doing too bad this guy's the worst he hurts wow. me oh wow and a couple little guys yeah. i just saw yeah. this one <laughs> <laughs> you have so one. graceful so graceful Kaza, you're like immune yeah. you're Kaza's immune is like a boat Kaz is a boat ninja no yeah. i never bruise i can hit myself really hard and i never bruise That's wrong. i just basically got my fingers torn up I yeah both oh, your pinkies. pinkies yeah that and i got that this is pretty minor besides the besides the bruise to my ego yeah <laughs> <laughs> From losing, it, from losing it by cribbage. four women for Three times in six days. Row. You guys want to put off the pole? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah? Okay. Oh. Ah, that's why we need to put off the pole. sailing at a really deep angle to the wind. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up these long uh, downwind poles that you see on the side desk. It's gonna allow us to hold the sail way, way, way out and stabilize it in the swell so it doesn't knock the wind out of it. And we okay. should maybe get a little bit of speed. Um, and then this is the big fella pole. There it is. Now we have uh, we have four different control lines on us. We have a topper that holds it up. We have a downhaul that holds it down. We have a four guy that pulls it forward. And we have an after guy that pulls it back. And so with those four lines, we can move the pole pretty much any direction. All right, next step, we got to get the sail in. Uh, so we'll go furl the jib. Jade, you okay? Yeah. You all right? Missed you? Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Ready? Slack. And now. Go. Oh. 
Did you get that on video? Yeah. You all right? <laughs> Quick reaction skills. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, she got that. She dodged it and hit it on this side and on that. Oh, wow. Total casualty. <laughs> Both sides of her head got hit. Gadonk. She's laughing deliriously. Oh when my god. Has something wrong There's with a her. slow mo instant replay somewhere in here. Go. In an unfortunate turn of events, our timing on the four guy was a bit premature, which caused the pole to stop on his tracks and snap right back at Jade's head. Her natural reaction away from the pole caused her to smack her head into the Dodger first, followed by the pole shortly thereafter. <laughs> you reacted very quickly. You ducked really quickly. The video is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get some rest and keep that ice on your head. With Jade icing up her head, we resumed hoisting the other sail to make the most of these downwind conditions. Okay, if that's the my rabbit load, runs just, I don't need to hear that. Out part. of the hole, <laughs> then the rabbit goes around the tree. Okay, Tay, start a little hoisty. Are you ready? It's a lot of work. Honestly, I think I'm pretty tired. We yeah. made some mistakes, my fault. <laughs> we had one injury, we had a couple of misled lines, we had a stuck cleat, uh, but whatever, we got it up. We we're at, it. I'm tired, we're out of breath, but the result- And you weren't even grinding the winch. No, I don't grind anymore, that's uh -oh. what I got crew for. You have that privilege. Yeah. Must be nice. How's your head, Jade? It hurts. Was it worth it? Um, yeah, it looks really freaking cool. I, we're kind of defying all the laws of sailing right now. Yeah, we're just going dead downwind. It's all so cool. Just look at it. It's just so magnificent. It's so beautiful, the symmetry. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. I'm looking at it. Is it worth right, it? We're sailing. We're doing six and a half knots and Alrighty. we're rolling a lot less. Yeah. It's good to be alive, eh? It's very good to be alive. Do you see, see my little lump? It's the little guy. Yeah. You feeling alright? Yeah, just a headache. Yeah. Laying down felt better, but kind of felt dizzy as well. Was it worth it? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> heck yeah. Look how dope this looks. <laughs> We're actually sailing really well right now. How many miles do we have left? We have 75 miles wow. to go. It's our last night at sea. I know, it's kind of sad. How do you feel about that? Um, sad. I I'm a little sad that it's ending. It's been a really fun time, but... I would love to do it again. I hope the girl crew can come back. That'd be awesome. Me too. That'd be awesome. <laughs> and I saw a bird. That was crazy. Cause wow. like after oh, not seeing one for land. so long, you're just like, whoa, that's a bird. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. Wait till we see land. It's gonna, it'll be a little different, you know? Like seven, six, seven days without it. What are you guys doing up here? Oh, it's a girl the mask. Yeah, did you get some shots? Yeah, I think so. But we're sailing beautifully. Yeah, so nice. It's so good. So 75 miles to go, guys. 75? 75. Ooh. Wow. Our last night at sea. <laughs> yeah, Crazy. does that mean you want to keep going? <laughs> Let's go back up to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> and then come back. Again. And then come back. <laughs> This looks so we'll nice. We'll just have to invite you back for another sale. Jade already said, I hope Girl Crew can come back. <laughs> I hope Girl Crew can come back too. Are you ready, Kazza? Hey, 
it's been a lovely sale, but I'm definitely ready to be there. Because you, you're on full-time nugget duty. Yeah, so yeah. She's, she's getting a bit ants in her pants. She's ready to run around. Hey. We're just watching some George and hanging out. 75 miles to go. Wow, is that it? That seems like such a small number. To be there in the morning Almost last thing. night at sea. Wow. It's been a really good sale though. It has. I think it's been a lot of fun. It has. It's flown by pretty quick. It has. Considering. Oh, baby but that's it. Are you ready All to go on land? Sales nuggets? must come to an end. Are you ready to go walk your baby feet on land? Yeah. <laughs> She's like so zoned into her cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> she has no idea. <laughs> oh, I see. George is on. That makes sense. The downwind set up with the sails is so cool. And sitting up here, you can really feel the power of like these massive sails just like pushing the boat. It's been a really good passage. I'm feeling really proud of all of us, and I think it worked really well with all the crew and everybody. Um, He's feeling super happy right now. We're almost there and I think Sierra would really, really like to stretch her legs. <laughs> She's gonna be so stoked to run around on land and just like explore, I think. I'm feeling pretty excited about it too. But I'm very proud that we've done this and I was having quite a lot of anxiety towards it and it's almost done and yeah, just feeling super stoked. In Panama, I'm really kind of like curious to. I've never really heard or met anybody from Panama. Like, I thought about it, I'm like, have I ever heard anybody say to me, like, oh yeah, I'm from Panama when you meet them? I haven't really never done that. So I'm like, who are these people? It's gonna be really cool to meet them and yeah, just to Panamanian food. I have no idea what that is either. So, stoked. What are you doing, Brian? Playing with your crypto again? <laughs> yeah, I've actually become quite addicted to all things blockchain as of lately and crypto. I think it's like a super cool space. It's gonna revolutionize a lot of things. Look what I've been working on. Bias a beer with crypto. It's super cool. It allows you to send us love like anywhere in the world. No middleman involved. And uh, if you'd like to support our videos and the crypto ecosystem, just head on over to svdelos.com forward slash crypto. Check out what we have on there and uh, we thank you in advance for it. All right, back to the show. We got the squall detection squad out. What do you think, Tay? Oh, well, of course, like, as soon as I change for my watch, squall comes. It seems to happen that way. Uh, so we need to uh, take the sail down. Yeah, let's get that sail down. So usually when we do this, uh, the technique is to ease the sheet. We ease the sheet a lot to take the power out of the sail. And then uh, we'll go up front, drop the hired, nice stuff in the bag. Nice. Uh, so many squalls around, huh? Yeah, they're coming. They're coming in hot. It's gonna get us? Yeah, I said I wanted to be hit in the face with this squall. Well, I'm ready it. for it. I want it to just come at me. Wow. I'm ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on watch, so... Oh, yeah. You can always get squalls on your watch. Uh, every you? freaking time. Every time. What's going on? Well, our original heading was 120. Then we had to go to 1... No, 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 no. 220. Then 230. 
And now we're at 190. Mm. We are going a whole knot and a half. <laughs> and we're starting to head away from our destination. So we're going to fix that. The wind is gone. Gone. And shifty. So is it time to motor? I concur. It's about 12.30. Um, we're on our very last, very last day. Kind of bittersweet actually. But just wanted to, to show you guys really quickly all these swallows that we're currently passing through. What a cool experience this has been. This entire thing has been such a mind opener and such a experience builder. I feel like I have gained a lot more knowledge than I originally had first coming on, on board and I thought, I think that's just really, really awesome to just be able to observe and to learn how to sail on a monohull. I feel very grateful and I'm, I'm kind of sad that this is, this is it, but you know, all, all good things have to come to an end, I guess. Pretty rough for my watch. <laughs> my God, I went to the toilet and I was like, I better go out there, like poor soul. <laughs> it's out there by themselves. <laughs> oh my God, I hate you, lightning. It's so sketchy when you're out here. And it's just down pouring right now. Oh. Kind of at that point in the passage where I am like excited to get there and ready to be there but at the same time everyone's kind of so in the groove and we're getting the feel for you know our watches and stuff like that and I almost like don't want it to end so I'm so happy with being out here and just kind of getting away from everything and enjoying just kind of being in the moment because I think that's something that sailing forces you to do is you have to be kind of in the present with everything that you're doing Mother Nature saved the best night for last. <laughs> Have a fun shift, Jade. <laughs> Clearly we're almost in Panama. Yeah, we're only like 18 miles away, so we're, uh, we're on the last stretch now. It's kind of a little crazy to be this close after being on the boat for this long. And trying to reminisce the last moments that we had here. It's been an absolutely beautiful experience and so <laughs> the sun is rising. We're ten miles offshore. It's raining. <laughs> I'm so excited to adventure in Panama. It's a truly bittersweet moment each and every time we complete a long offshore passage. After days of living inside this little cocoon of a vessel, it becomes your whole entire world. And the prospect of going back into the real world makes you equally as hesitant as it does excited. Looking back at the past seven days, we couldn't have asked for the stars to align as perfectly as they did. Sharing this experience with our new crew leads to a closeness and camaraderie hard to imagine. But perhaps this little recap montage will help. How are you feeling? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm feeling excited. I'm ready. <laughs> it's your first time sailing a monohull. So, 
Oh, an actual, an actual sailboat. Oh, snap! Please open the door. <laughs> it was on this passage that Tay caught her first fish. What do you got on there? Wait, is that a fish? There is a fish oh, on wait, there. What? <laughs> I thought it was just seaweed. But made me do the dirty work. Bye, fella. Nugget started a dance class. Stop. stop! Everybody, stop! Watch. Collaborate and listen. Okay, word, word, word. Thanks for keeping us fit and healthy, baby nugs. We had a blast. The girls learned to hand steer by the stars. I just saw a shooting star. Yeah, that I saw a little while ago too. It's all the stuff that we miss because we normally don't stare at the sky, right? Yeah. But now. You're just staring at the sky. That's your whole entire job. That's awesome. We also navigated by the sun. And then with the angle, we then can put that into a formula and then we can determine with uh, like a reduction sheet our latitude, which is the north and south. Are uh, you guys ready? <laughs> uh-uh. Uh -huh. Straight over my head. Okay. What is our verdict? I redid my mathematics. I found my problem. <laughs> we had days where Delos was absolutely hooning along. Whoa, we're doing some real sailing today. Holy crap. Others were a little slower. I woke up because I could hear sails flapping. <laughs> Point nine knots. Oh, no, we're going not, not even one knot right there. We had what could only be described as the perfect day at sea, which started with dolphins at the bow, followed by trips up the mast. The conditions are perfect for doing this. Woo! <laughs> And then we swam in the open ocean while being towed under sail. <laughs> I'm catching so much! <laughs> I had one of my best ideas ever. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna throw that we've never used the subwing off the boat while sailing. This is gonna be cool. And it worked like a charm. Oh man, that was so much fun. <laughs> of course, there were a few challenges along the way. What's going on, oh, the freezer stopped working, which is not good. And those mornings where the sea state got the best of us. How's baby nuts? She woke up and she was really happy, but then the wind picked up another few knots, and we started really leaning, and she just puked up all of breakfast. We gingerly navigated around the notorious pirate waters of Nicaragua. I turned off the AIS. The AIS is now in like silent mode uh, and also lights. So we're gonna run at night, we're gonna be dark. So like everybody should choose a weapon. Prepare to be boarded, my days! <laughs> An egg landed. Oh no! <laughs> egg down. Egg catastrophe. Oh no! We saved the yolk. You're brave to cook breakfast this morning. I know. The boat's going nuts. Ah! Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and the baby nugget eventually found her stride. It's amazing that she's able to walk around in these waves. Yeah, jump! Whoa! and started to show signs of the keen sailor that she will become. And last but not least, the girl crew showed us just what badass sailors they are. Okay, prepare to attack. Attacking.
Congratulations, we sailed from one country to another. <laughs> Seven days at sea. This is so cool. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. I never get tired of it. Up next on Delos. Uh, really proud of everybody. First ocean passage for some of us. Yay! Well done. Congratulations on Panama. Yay. Yay! Yay! Gracias. So we're all cleared in. We got cleared in from customs. To passage. a good passage. Cheers, cheers. And new friends. Do you see them? It's dolphins in the anchorage. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had an important message to relay you. I was just lucky. I just basically got my fingers torn up. Yeah, that. both your pinkies. Yeah, that, that is pretty minor. Besides, the besides the bruise to my ego. Yeah. <laughs> from being constantly from losing, harassed from losing it by four women for Three times in six days. Row. Experience builder. Um, experience builder, does that even make sense? I don't know. Get her, baby nugs, get her. <laughs> and <Yep>. cut. <laughs> there you go. I don't feel right. I feel like an idiot.